Contracting Conversations. My name is Scott Williams and I'm joined by my co-host, Jim Valley. Today we are talking with Judy Whalen, DAU's Learning Asset Manager for Con 7020, an online training course entitled Overhead Should Cost Review. And it's also part of Credential 10, which is a special topics and contract pricing credential. So it's part of that particular credential, but you can certainly take the class uh, by itself just to get some more knowledge about should cost review. So given that, Judy, what can you tell us about the class 7020? Uh, again, in the overhead should cost review course. Thank you for having me, Scott. Mm -hmm. uh, the overhead should cost review course will teach students how to evaluate the economy and efficiency of contractors' work force, their methods, materials, equipment, real property, operation systems, and management. And they'll learn skills to promote both short and long range improvements in the contractor's economy and efficiency to decrease the cost of performance on government contracts. This course actually covers the overhead portion of the overhead should cost review and does not cover the specific program should cost review. Great, Judy. Thanks. And how long does this particular class take to complete? This course takes about three hours to complete. Okay, great. So students can earn up to three uh, continuous learning points for taking the class. And uh, Jim, I'm going to pass it over to you. All right. Thanks, Scott. So, Judy, who is the targeted audience for this course? I believe the target audience would be anyone that's interested in participating in an overhead should cost review, or if they just want a deeper understanding of cost analysis. The overhead should cost review is normally performed by DCMA. However, there are certain military service branches that also perform overhead should cost reviews. But just for your information, this course itself provides the DCMA view of an overhead should cost review. Okay, so that's, that's very interesting uh, that that's the case. So if I were to take this online asset, how would I be assessed? Students will be assessed on an exam that comes at the end of the course. Okay, great. Scott, you want to add anything else? Or Judy, do you have anything else you want to add? Uh, I do want to add one thing. I did have a student that took this course that noted that after taking the course, now he understood what an overhead should cost review is. And uh, he wanted to volunteer to actually participate in one. Oh, great. So that must show that this course really does help you on the job, right? Yes, I believe it does. It, great. That, that's what we want at DAU is to affect people at the workplace so they can be more effective. So thanks, Judy, for being on board with us today. Thank you so much, Jim. It's a pleasure to be here. Right. And I hope this information for those out there listening, I hope this helps you to decide on whether or not you're a good target person for taking Con 7020, the overhead should cost review course. So hopefully this was helpful. So that is all the time we have for today. But please, if you haven't already, subscribe to our Contracting Conversations channel, whether it's on DAU Media, YouTube, or Apple Podcasts. Type any comments below to include your questions for future discussions and spread the word of this channel to your peers and to those you supervise or lead. Let us help you answer their questions. We look forward to having future contracting conversations with you.